Oh. Hi guys. Well, <laughs> it is now after midnight. Me and the little dog are finally hitting the sack here. So I guess it is actually now uh, technically a Sunday morning, October 6, 2024. So me and the little dog, we have just been watching the birds in the classic uh, Alfred Hitchcock movie The Birds always one of my favorite movies of uh, my childhood man I love that movie uh, <laughs> hadn't seen that movie in good god 50 years and uh, you know that movie it's just one more example of uh I, I think I remember having this rant not long after I got to New York that it, it, it appeared that what my summer was shaping up to be that my that, that everything I did was was crisis management that that's what I am I, I, I am a fucking crisis manager uh, since I woke up this morning uh, and, and until now, and I, I mean, even watching the birds it was basically just watching a two-hour movie with people going from one crisis to another. Uh, you turn on the fucking news, and we got one hurricane just blew out of Florida. And now we have another one blowing in. It's just crisis on top of crisis. Since I woke up this morning, my entire day has been going from one crisis to another. That That's all I do. All I do with my fucking life is, is, is manage crises. Uh, good fucking God. And uh, dealing with that, uh, you know, my, another fucking morning going into that fucking brake light. Uh, where th this whole fucking crisis is just getting deeper and deeper and deeper. I went another, well, another hundred dollars deeper uh, into that. And, and then in the middle, of, and, and so then I went from there back to the guy, guy in my gas sucking truck. I went from there uh, down to the hardware store to get more shit for this, this mouse war crisis. That has already cost me thousands of dollars. The, the, these fucking mice. I go home. I get home from the hardware store with the stuff for the mouse war, and manage to lock my fucking keys uh, in, in the truck. That was a hundred dollars. I have spent on that truck. In the last 12 hours, 200 fucking dollars uh, I, I have spent on the truck, which is more money than I'm making in, in, in my business. Uh, 200 fucking dollars uh, on that goddamn truck. Uh, hours of my time. Another, what was it? Another $30 uh, in, in, into the fucking mouse war. Uh, dealing with, uh, you know, Sancho. I don't know what the fuck is going on with this dog in his leg. I've been pulling. How many fucking ticks have I pulled off this dog? I don't know if he's getting ready to go back into the, the, this goddamn tick born paralysis. I'm dealing, I'm dealing with the fucking dog. I, I, I'm dealing with my own mental health. I'm dealing with this motherfucking truck. I'm dealing with these fucking mice. Uh, the, 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 this is my entire fucking life. And so I, I, I love it. In the, in the middle of all this, th this couple coming into uh, Seahorse, I'll be freezing their fucking ass. So for th these were one of the few people who weren't scared off by the mice, you know. So they're okay with the mice. And so this woman drives up today. And I said, "Oh, uh, I, I said, I uh, thought you were 
I said, I said, are you flying solo or what's going on? And she said, oh, she goes, my husband could not make it tonight. Hopefully he will be able to get here tomorrow. And I said, oh, I said, well, that's too bad. I said, what happened? And, and she said, well, he's dealing with a crisis. And, and, I, and, and, I, and I and I kind of laughed. I said that. I, I said, you know, that's pretty much my life. And, and I, I wasn't going to pry. And uh, so anyway, this dude, I can't remember where he works. But his job title, he is literally a crisis manager. That, that, that's, his mother, <laughs> that's his motherfucker's job title that he gets paid to manage crises. I, it probably some sort of computer nerd thing. So on Saturday night, uh, the, the, his, you know, they're from Rochester or somewhere like that. You know, this, this vacation that they've been planning for weeks, uh, he's completely fucked. And, and, and he's out manage, literally managing a crisis at work uh, on, on Saturday night. Uh, that there, there's actually a job description called crisis manager. Uh, it, it, it's probably a growing field. So that's what I am. I, I have a new job title. Whenever anyone asks me what my job title is, I am no law. I am not a vacation rental host. I am not a doomsday prophet. I am a crisis manager. My ever since I got to fucking New York six months ago, this has been one non-stop crisis that I have been managing. I go uh, from 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 one fucking crisis. Uh, I, I, it, 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 and I don't solve the crisis. I, I, I put a little band-aid on one crisis and, 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 and throw a couple of hundred dollars at that crisis. And, and, and then I go over to my next crisis, throw a, a, another couple of hundred dollars at that crisis. Uh, the, the, this fucking truck, uh, it, it, it's, it's just... All this is now, you know, this fucking truck is 11 years old with 200,000 miles on it, even though it's a Toyota Tacoma. It's going to be, you know, the guy who came to get my keys out of the truck, who's also the guy who might or might not be doing, replacing my bearings. He just said, yeah. This, this is what you're going to be dealing with. Uh, from, from this point forward, you have an 11-year-old truck with 200,000 fucking miles on it, and, and it's just going to be one thing after another uh, going out on this fucking truck. Uh, just, just like, get used to it, dude. Uh, just one fucking crisis after another on this vehicle, one fucking crisis after another uh, on this vacation rental business. Oh, fuck. It's just, it, it, it is mental health crises. Uh, oh. Fuck. It, 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 it's just never fucking ending crisis management. And then I, I, I you know, I look at these pictures uh, from from this goddamn Hurricane Helene and, and thinking, my God, uh, I, I, I'm bitching about a fucking brake warning light on my truck. Uh, you know, people who know me, they've remarked uh, about, about my complete inability not to sweat the small stuff, how I let this, this, this little shit like brake lights and mice and stuff like just completely eat my brain. Then when something really does, you know, some big fucking catastrophe, 
uh, you know, some serious fucking crisis. Uh, how how I, I, I tend to, you know, when I'm really fucked, how I can, I, I can make a joke of it. I, you know, I remember the big, the, the, the big fucking earthquake in, in 1989. Uh, you know, my fucking house uh, was half destroyed. I, I knew that my real estate business correctly, that, that I, I, I lost half of my fucking house was destroyed. My entire real estate uh, business, uh, it was in uh, October 11th, October 17th, uh, 1989. Good God. Uh, my, my business was destroyed, my house was destroyed, good fucking God, and my dear sweet uh, ex-wife and our, our friends that were over in absolute fucking panic, freak out mode, and, and, and I was just like shrugging it off and, and making jokes about it. Uh... I remember like 10 minutes after my mother died. 10 minutes after my mother died, the fucking phone rings. I pick it up. It, it's my, that crazy ass girlfriend of mine. She was, uh, you, you know, living out in Oregon while I was taking care of my mother. And I just pick up the phone 10 minutes after my mother died. My, 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 my mother's lying dead in the bed. Uh, the, the fucking hearse is coming up the driveway and uh, my girlfriend just calls me and starts yakking and, and I said darling I, I, I said I have to sorry I, I don't have time to talk I have to go and she goes what's going on uh, because she knew it was like midnight in, uh, in Atlanta I, I said the fucking hearse is coming up the driveway. She goes, what the fuck are you talking about? The hearse is coming up the driveway. I said, mom died. She goes, your mother's dead? She goes, when? And, and, and I said, 50, 10, 15 minutes ago. And, and, and she said, your mother died 10 minutes ago and you picked up the phone and you've been sitting here just just, just letting me uh, yap uh, for five minutes, you know. I said, well, she's dead. Uh, I'll call you tomorrow. Uh, oh, fuck. What will the crisis of the day be tomorrow? It's going to be a Sunday. Uh, Sunday. How many crises can I have on a fucking Sunday? <coughs> I think we're going to get our first frost tonight. I have not seen frost on the ground in a year and a half. So I think I'm going to walk outside in all of my beautiful... Uh, summer gardens, all of my impatience and all of that are going to be dead on the fucking ground. Something tells me uh, when I walk out of this converted tool shed, uh, just reading this long fucking article, long fucking article, right, right before I turned on the birds. Uh, about the future of old people uh, in this country, and I absolutely loved it. That they were using the example of somebody who is fucked is the average Social Security check is seventeen hundred dollars a month. Well, this poor woman, she was seventy-two. She is only making $1,400 a month on Social Security, and she has Medicare. She's got $1,400 a month coming in, and Medicare. I am making $900 a month. 
$900 a month and I have no Medicare. Uh, <laughs> and, and my comment was I would absolutely... Oh, and she has a small pension. $1,400 Social Security, a small pension in Medicare, and, and, and this woman is, is in an absolute fucking crisis, freaking out that that she's flat broke. Uh, she she's one step away from living in a fucking cardboard box. The 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 woman is making uh, twice as much money as I am uh, every month and has Medicare. And talking about the 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 crisis. Uh, all of this shit, the, the, these younger generations talking about these fucking rich boomers. It was saying that 40% that of people 65 or older, over, what did it say, over the next, was it seven years, that 40% of people 65 or over are going to run out of money. They're going to run out of money. 40% of people 65 or over are going to literally run out of money. And, and, and these are the people making twice as much money as me. Ah, oh, God. Ah, <laughs> oh, just let me go to sleep and not fucking wake up. God damn. Anyway, I have taken my sleeping pills. Had my drinks. Can I get one more swallow? One, one last swallow of tequila flavored ice. <sighs> Fuck. Just let me go to sleep and not fucking wake up to some other fucking crisis to manage tomorrow morning. Get out there and manage your crisis while you still can. I'm going to sleep, hopefully, for the last time. My guys.